delayed by airlines in, in Nigeria is getting out of hand now. Now, pandemonia broke out at the Nam Diaziku International Airport, Abuja, when passengers staged a protest over flight delays by Max Air. In a viral video circulating online, the protesting passengers were seen destroying airline counters and other facilities of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. Let's share the moment with you. My own secret is that if I have an appointment in Abuja for Monday morning, I'll go first flight Sunday. I'll be guaranteed that first flight 6.30 or 7 a.m. Mm. at least they will move. The only thing that is guaranteed now for our local airlines, that first flight. Once you miss it, every other thing. You can't have an appointment in, Lagos, in Abuja in the afternoon and you are still in Lagos in the morning. It's almost impossible. Well, what if... You have an appointment at 5 p.m. Mm. and you are scheduled to fly at <laughs> 9 a.m. <laughs> and they didn't fly at n that 9 a.m. Mm. They still didn't fly at 5 p.m. Mm. Are you going to say that 9 a.m. flight is not early enough? Mm. 9 a.m. flight for someone who has an appointment at 5 p.m. is early enough. Abi? Whichever what, uh, way we look at it. Abuja 10 a.m. So, but what these guys are saying is that they had been there since 9 a.m. and there was no communication. Normally. Right up to, it was already getting dark. As the airline staff would be avoiding you. You know, it was already getting dark. I think it was around 7 p.m. or so, I don't know, mm. when these people then decided to. The I do not support. Uh, resort to violence. I don't think that every time that uh, no, they were things, not to things, be things go, they would have been arrested. Uh, uh, there is usually not even uh, security operatives patrolling the the <coughs> the Local. the terminals of this airport. So normally. We shouldn't resort to violence in this case. We lost a match the other day. We destroyed the stadium. Mm. It's not in all cases that people should resort to violence. The those, it took years. Those who resort to violence rehabilitate. deserve to be arrested. But the airlines need being uh, spoken to. Despite all the steps that have been taken by um, the authorities to ensure that airlines show greater respect to passengers. People still get treated uh, with levity and that is what pushes people to, to take extreme action. So I think the airlines, I know that there are issues with uh, even uh, accessing aviation fuel and all that mm. and other issues. But we shouldn't push uh, our people to resort to violence. What if, for example, your flight was delayed because or bad weather. If you now resorted to destroying equipment, that means you've behaved in an irresponsible way because if, if, they fly, if they fly in bad weather, they, they are going to put your lives at risk. Mm -hmm. You can bring down a plane. But they are hot to be communication. That's right. Then That's there is no communication, these sort of things can happen. So it's not like a stock in trade. You, you can't, apart from the international routes, you can't be guaranteed that you, if you want to fly the local routes, that you will get there on the stipulated time. At the stipulated time. 
Yeah, there are a whole lot of issues, you know, budgeting on um, poor services. Um, I, I stumbled on records for the first quarter of this year uh, that speaks to the number of, you know, domestic flights. Of the 14,000 silver and something flights, you know, conducted, you know, here in Nigeria, oh. over 50 percent were delayed. Over 50 percent. Yeah, yeah, it just tells you, you know, how bad the records are. You see, but there is nothing in the, you know, uh, in the book rules that says passengers, you know, who who feel aggrieved, you know, should take laws into their hands. You know, sometime back in July 2021, the Minister of Aviation, Hadi Sirika, had. Said, said to Nigerians that passengers who are flying have what they call aviation rights. Now, if flights are delayed for one hour, the airlines have a responsibility to inform the passengers either via SMS or email and then offer refreshment. And if flights are delayed for two hours, the rule says, according to the aviation minister, that passengers should be reimbursed 100% of the cost of flight. Oh. So, <laughs> but again, you, you ask yourself, uh, this, you know, this stuff, you know, is yeah, backed by legislation <coughs> and all that stuff. But as I said, nothing in the book rules says uh, passengers should take laws into their hands. They can press their rights, and if the law says they have, you know, um, uh, rights, you know, that they can angle for, so, so be it. But I, I, I completely disagree with um, you know, uh, those who had taken laws into their hands, you know, going to destroy, destroy property and, and all that stuff. Julia, as we said earlier, mm -hmm. just any form of communication will suffice yes. for some Nigerians as they are mm -hmm. seated waiting patiently for them to know that, oh, gentlemen, this flight is going to be delayed mm -hmm. two hours as a result of, you know, um, operational, whatever, e and everything. So people will sit down, but not you find a situation whereby the airline staff will be running away. Mm. They'll be running, no, you won't no, no, even no, get no, them. No. At that time, mm. they'll just disappear. So nobody to ask that what is actually happening and nobody to make announcements. I have been on a flight in which the aircraft had technical problem. And that technical problem had to do with not even being able to measure the the volume of aviation fuel in in the tank hmm. so it's dangerous so what they then did was to best take us to Portacot and got sufficient fuel hmm. going to lagos so we couldn't understand why they had to take us to, to, to Portacot <laughs> and then refueled because we felt that oh, to if it, they yeah. just wanted to be sure that in, they had enough fuel, oh. enough aviation fuel. Since the the device that measures the it's gauges, like your gauge. the, that gauges the, it's not working. It, it, it was not working. Sure. You know, it That's was one of mean. the it was one of the staff that told me that look, you know, we can't announce that to people. That some of these things, people. Uh, 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 passengers will be unnecessarily agitated mm -hmm. to the point that the pilot may not even be able to manage the situation. That, that's why sometimes they don't tell us everything. For example, if there are technical issues that they can fix, mm -hmm. if they announce, oh, the aircraft is delayed because it has technical problems, how many people will still want to, <laughs> uh, to go by that same flight? <laughs> so they would rather not tell you, Whether you fix, fix the problem, not. And, and then, then fly. Uh -huh. <laughs> Once you hear that, look, it's held. The aircraft is held down in Lagos because it had the technical problem that they are trying to fix. Once you hear that, that the, you are going to buy a ticket for that another. Line, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that is the thing. They always try to keep these things to themselves, but mm. they need to show respect, a lot more respect to our people, and our people need to show restraint. This sort of thing that they did. If you go to Heathrow, you know you will never attempt to damage. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> yes, no, there are no, things no, that people no. get away with in yes. our country that they can't get. Yes. You can't, you still, can't, you can't it's destroy. Still, it's still painful that the national stadium, mm. that national stadium you talked yes. about, that somebody like a private individual can repaired it. We repaired this thing uh, for months and everything. It took the effort of the sport minister and the, even the one of Lagos too. 
Ronaldo because we lost the match. Uh, and we lost the match. We just vandalized it. I know. What? And they will still punish us for the way we encroach uh, the pitch because it's wrong to encroach the pitch. Of course. So what have we gained in the end? We lost the match. Oh.